Hello everybody, Wild Bill for America here. Thank you for watching. I really like getting letters from my internet friends and this is a good one. David K. in New Jersey writes, Dear Bill, since you're America's leading liberalologist, perhaps you can answer this. Are liberals really mentally ill or are they just not too bright? Well, David, you will find both schools of thought among those who are working to find a cure for liberalism. Dr. Lyle Rossiter, a psychiatrist, makes the case that it is a mental disorder in his book, The Liberal Mind, The Psychological Causes of Political Madness. <laughs> Political madness. I think we need to use that phrase a little more often. But my studies show that conservatives and liberals have two different thinking and decision-making processes. Conservatives think with their brains because that's the way God designed us. The brain contains the intelligence and rational thought centers. Liberals, on the other hand, try to think with their emotions. They let their emotions drive their lives. Emotions are not rational in any way and, and many times are uncontrollable. Making life decisions based on emotions is like setting the cruise control on your car and then climbing into the back seat to see where it takes you, which pretty much explains the Obama administration. Now this dysfunction started back in the days of the acid-dropping, barefoot, dirty hippies of the 60s whose motto was, hey man, if it feels good, do it. Now those dirty liberal or hippies eventually evolved into today's liberals and to make themselves appear intelligent they upgraded that motto slightly and now it is follow your heart it will never lead you wrong baloney emotions contain no more intelligence now than they did in the 60s if the human heart ever steers a person in the right direction it will be completely by accident now, because they are so addicted to chasing their emotions, liberals tend to function well in the land of fantasy. Hollywood, for instance. They love to put on emotional TV shows, sing emotional songs, and make emotional movies. Have you ever wondered why an actor can portray a brave and brilliant hero in an action movie, and then in real life support Obama and global warming? Now you know. They're not using their brains the way God intended. That's probably because they've never read the manual. Now, conservatives reason out their beliefs based upon factual evidence, history, experience, and education. They are logical and methodical, and they have a solid foundation for their positions. This is why conservatives excel in leadership positions where liberals fail miserably. Now, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Dr. Rossiter. He says, when the modern liberal mind whines about imaginary victims, rages against imaginary villains, and seeks, above all else, to run the lives of people competent to run their own lives, the neuroses of the liberal mind becomes painfully obvious. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and God bless America again.